Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and here's another quick episode review for this week's TMNT of the 2012 series, which is The Moons of Thalos 3. We're continuing on through Season 4, and this is the second episode. This is just going to be quick. I'm going to provide my thoughts on what the episode's about, as well as what I like about it, because it may not be as good as last week's, but it's good on its own. I really did enjoy it. Basically, the turtles end up crash landing on an ice planet while trying to evade Triceratons, but at the same time, they had to deal with the Salamandrians, which is proper, proper name for these newts. They look like newts, to be exact, but they're deadly, they're threatening, and they really do pack a punch. They really do pack a punch, to be honest. What was most interesting about it is that we actually get an ice planet in this episode. Reminds me of Hoth from The Empire Strikes Back. Not to mention the turtles having to survive not only against the Salamandrians, but the icy planet itself, which is kind of nice. Oh, and did I forget to mention that this planet also has ice dragons? Yes, ice dragons. Dragons made of ice that shoot ice breath, and that is scary. They're scary. They're, they look awesome. They really do look awesome. Not to mention the Salamandrians are too, and the voices for both the Salamandrians that were in the episode were pretty nice. One of them, you have Commander Sal, who was voiced by Keith David, and he is a well-respected voice actor. Very good, and I like his performance. He felt like a real commander, real serious, but at the same time, he was also pretty honorable. He reminded me of Dinobot from Beast Wars when desiring for like an honorable battle, and he won an honorable battle with the Turtles. But there's also Mona Lisa, voiced by Zelda Williams. That's right, the daughter of the late Robin Williams voices a character that I know many of you who grew up in the 1987 cartoon know, Mona Lisa. At least here... In this series, in this series, I mean, Mona Lisa is actually an alien. It's pretty nice instead of having her be like mutated like in the original cartoon. It adds a, like it adds something fresh and it just makes it more enjoyable. Not to mention regarding Zelda Williams, she also is the same voice for Kuvira in The Legend of Korra, which her that was voicing a villain now voicing a good character. I don't mind it. The action was pretty good all around. There was like a lot of action, like whether it be the turtles against the salamandrians or when they go up against the ice dragons, there was just good action all around. And some of the stuff there, that was pretty funny. It was really funny, especially like with Donatello's expression when he got frozen by the ice dragon. Hilarious as all hell. Although, of course, this episode also ships one thing. Yes, this episode is basically full on ship fest for Raphael and Mona Lisa. Yes, if you guys know, I know there's like a small devoted fan base who loved the pairing of Raphael and Mona Lisa. Even though in the original series, Mona Lisa only appeared for one episode, which to me, I ask why. Why? Self-contained? I mean, seriously. Though it makes me feel pretty bad that she never appeared in the 2003 series. Though if she did, she would maybe try to help Raphael out a lot. However, here, the hilarity about it is that how they were able to meet each other and how this whole happened is just rather funny. It's just pretty funny. It really is funny on seeing how Raphael tries so hard to get Mona Lisa's love. And it ended pretty well. <laughs> it just made me laugh. It made me chuckle. But it made me say, nice going, Raph. You got, you're in love with a salamander. Seriously. It's just, it's so hilarious. It really is hilarious. But at the same time now, the TMNT got new allies. And they're going to need all the allies they can get against the Triceratons. Because as you saw from the beginning of the episode, these guys are no joke. And if you already saw the season 3 finale of what they were capable of when they destroyed Earth, imagine how dangerous they can be in season 4. I'm beginning to wonder if we'll ever see the Salamandrians again later on throughout the series. The season, I mean, I apologize. Well, we'll find out for sure, but I do hope that they do return. Because it would be kind of nice seeing Raphael and Mona Lisa <coughs> try again. Sorry about that earlier because I had a cough. But point is, I really do enjoy this episode. The rating as well as my thoughts on it are in the description below. I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of it? And I want to ask a question for anyone who's watching this video. Are you a fan of the shipping of Raphael and Mona Lisa? Whether it be in the original 1987 cartoon or in recently this week's episode. Let me know in the comments. I hope to hear from everyone. And if you do enjoy this review, please be sure to hit this like button. It does mean a lot to me. Remember, these episodes are short since the TMNT cartoons are half an hour, and they can help me provide my thoughts much faster. So yeah, hope to hear from everyone. I hope you all enjoy it. And like I said, hit the like button if you en did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next week when I do another review of this cartoon. All right, peace out, guys.